Hello everybody, it's yet another part of our Belgium series, where we are taking on Germany in World War One and trying to not get, you know, basically taken over. We're doing a decently good job of fending them off so far, but I have a feeling... Oh, jeez. So the Mexican Revolution is just not letting me uh, actually get my introduction going. Uh, some light typos are a thing in this mod. It is, after all, made by, like, ten dudes as opposed to the massive design teams that Paradox has. Makes sense. So, uh, Victoria and Huerta is in, for those of you that care to follow the Mexican Revolution closely. As it's going on over there, while the rest of us are, you know, caring a little more about what we're going on. Uh, no, no idea why. No, no, no idea why. Yeah, clearly no idea why. Uh, it's the world of fighting guys. Uh, down here, Serbia and Montenegro are holding on pretty well. Let's just take a quick look at Egypt. Oh, nice job, guys. The Brits are already taking into Palestine decently well. Uh, support from Egyptians, I suppose. Uh, even though I see a lot of Egyptian forces in the Balkans as opposed to being in Egypt, because my, my, the AI is silly. Uh, we can also see that uh, Ottoman uh, claims in the Middle East, also known as the Arabian Peninsula, are doing kind of terribly as the Brits have our landing forces here as well, fighting Germans. Uh, Germans fleeing from uh, Africa, where our forces have been entirely successful, and we're going to now go make the next front line with uh, this piece. I'm going to tell them to take uh, that side, because it's the side towards us, and I'm going to tell them to get to the river. And I'm going to tell them to just march on that, because I'm pretty sure there's like two divisions there. It tends to be the thing in Africa, most people will only have a handful of divisions lying around. Uh, I sent 10 there just to make sure that no one's dealing the Congo on me on something cocky. Because quite frankly, I would like keeping the Congo for this reason. Uh, resistance resources, come on. There we go. Yeah, uh, see all that rubber? All that rubber? I like rubber. Rubber is useful for things like planes, tanks, later. Uh, and controlling that much rubber means that I am an important power. When I lose that rubber, I lose this level of importance that I do not want to have to replace. Alright, we smashed them up pretty good. Um, yeah, we've, we've done a good job holding this line here. It might just be time to be in offensive. Just give me a moment while I take a look at my men. We're not really all that well provisioned, not really all that well manned yet, so I'm going to wait a little while. We did, after all, fix all the problems from the AI making divisions with 200 men in them, which is not something I want to drag into World War One. Yeah, you, you 200 guys with no backup, no no cores, no artillery support. Yeah, go go take the trenches. Yeah, that will work. Yes, I know you're cheaper. Excellent. We've gotten rid of superior enemy. Good, good, good. Uh, superior enemy is a trait that they give uh, for the Germans executing the Schlieffen plan and just generally being German. That helps balance the game a little bit out for the early war. We have, however, reached 1915. And it's no longer the early war, basically. Uh, I have half a mind to send our second detachment of fighters to northern France to try and see if 15 dudes will help any lunch. Um, that being said, uh, I kind of like the idea of, you know, helping a French-Belgian assault into, uh, you know, Aachen. Uh, which for a while was wide open in the beginning of the series, if you have no idea what I'm talking about. The link for watching is probably either right here or you've already seen it. It's a good idea to check it out. It will help you get a little bit of context for this part. Anyway, Belgium has united the Benelux and we are at war. That's basically all you need to know. Good news is, I have a decent idea that this might actually work. Okay, cool. We got ourselves an engineering company. Improved. Um, we don't really do anything with motors just yet. A little early. Let's see my show. And 
1915, I have a funny feeling. Yes, that's the funny feeling I was having. We have a better fighter available. It's the pricking of my thumbs. It's like, yes, more planes. So yes, we will go research more planes. They go try and get more planes. Because planes. I like planes. <laughs> oh. There we go. We've smashed these guys to being exhausted. You might have a chance. And looking at it, we actually have divisions that actually sort of have people in them. So once that's done, I'm going to go hit them. Come on. And it's Germans. Of course the assaults are never done. How many losses are there for Germany right now? Looking at the grand loss casualties of existence, uh, the Russians have done a massive amount of dying. However, the Germans have done the most dying in the war so far, with 1.34 million in the year. Uh, not even a full year, by the way. Actually, it's only been a matter of months. Austria-Hungary has gotten about a half million, uh, which is behind the Russian Empire with 7 point eight seven hundred thousand. Um, Serbia is nearly 100,000, which considering the population of Serbia and the manpower of Serbia, which is not all that much, uh, is considerable. We've only taken 27,000, and generally, I'm pretty sure our idea at the moment is to bleed the Germans down enough that our forces are actually useful. With air cover and, you know, help. Namely, oodles and oodles and oodles of Frenchmen and Brits. Thanks, guys, for showing up. Kindly uh, do some of the dying for us. Although, do, you know, recall that there are a number of Belgians everywhere on this front. In fact, we are holding Boromont alone. It's not like there's, you know, ten French divisions here in the middle of the line. They're all on the edge of the line for some silly reason. Probably because they want to do an offensive, which I would welcome any time they bloody well feel like it. <sighs> what am I going to do with these people? Well, the French just don't want to actually go on the offensive. Okay, I, I can respect that. It's World War One after all. Okay, you get into John D. You wrap around the side for me. Yes, yes, wrap around the side. Take that piece. That will just generally uh, swallow out most of German Africa, leaving only uh, this bit as we know it today is Angola. I'm pretty sure the Brits dash South Africans should be able to deal with that, but, you know, Brits and South Africans fighting in Africa. For all we know, Lieto Vortek is going to lead them around in circles all week. Actually, that is a good question. Who is in charge? Nobody. Good job, game. <clears throat> Something tells me Lieto Vortek is actually commanding forces. Sorry, commanding forces. I can clearly talk today in Europe somewhere. I can't find where yet. Von Galwitz has appeared to be on the eastern front. That's not right. Wasn't he on the western? Oh, they flipped around a little here. Now we have Field Marshal Du Abrit von Rutenberg, an interesting guy, on our front who's a little bit better, as I recall, in the game than the other guys. He certainly has more awards. He has seven versus a six, so yeah, he's a little bit of an upgrade. Which means that they're probably saying, but we have a Schlieffen plan, why are we not in Brussels yet? Because Brussels is not wanting to be attacked this badly. Alrighty, let's go get ourselves some trade with France for more aluminum. Aluminium, however you prefer to say it, uh, just because we uh, are exporting six and producing eight. You know how hearts of iron gets with, oh yeah, you imported things, now export them. Thanks, guys. That's nothing to say on the mod guys, that's something to say on uh, Paradox in general, because they do this silly shit all the time. We have had a victory, but we finally actually had something to sink on us, namely a destroyer, the Utrecht. Annoying. Where or oh, where did our navy go? I don't see them anywhere. Now they're probably off to sea. I'm doing a very good job of turtling, which is what a lot of this war will look like. Because, duh.
to be clear, I am on uh, normal difficulty for this. This is not a walk in the park. Ah, the French have finally had an offensive, which means, of course, we're going to join. Because this is a French offensive, and I feel like it. it's only a minor French offensive. It's now very clearly a Belgian offensive. And the French commanders say, yes, assault them. The, French, the Belgians say, yes, yes. And the French sort of sent a couple of men, well, we sent, like, you know, everybody. That being said, we might just pull this one off. It'd be nice if we could. I land the lease with Venezuela. Support equipment and fuel artillery. Dude, I don't care where it's coming from, so long as we get it. Ah, here, we're having an engagement where we are blowing up German ships again. I'd be very happy if they actually got around to giving us uh, naval commanders and things by now. But they haven't yet. I can understand, it's a very small mod team. I get it. It's just like, come on, man. There's resistance to my occupation in Rwanda. No, I'm not going to make Hutus and Tutsis jokes. I'm more mature than that. By about this much. Anyway, let's take that piece and get our 10 divisions back from Africa. I'm, there's two places I could send. One, I, would, I could go help out with the Ottoman frontier out here and just generally, you know, back with the British. Uh, or two, I can send them to Serbia, back them up, even though they're doing fine. Or three, I can send them to my own damn front and uh, generally have a bit of a mess. As I kind of want to keep them under this dude. Actually, give me a second. Oh, keep on this dude. Nah, it's going to leave me. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I could give him Lehman, go over here. Give him Lehman, go over there. Give him Lehman, go just about anywhere I want to. Um, this is a big thinking time. I could send them to the Serbians. My problem is, is the Serbians are doing just about as good as we are. Uh, and, you know, we're under attack personally. Uh, I think I'm going to send them back to the Benelux. However, what is tempting is because we're here already. We might as well, right? It's my thinking. The Portuguese Republic has joined us. It appears at least. I'll confirm that. Yeah, Portugal. Good job, Portugal. Uh, they were neutral war. Well, for most of it until later. Um, Portugal joining the Serbia is interesting. Very interesting. Actually, you know what? Let's send us a Belgian expeditionary force to sort of take into uh, Damascus is about where we'll clock off. But that will give us a pressure in Africa, Dash, uh, in the Middle East, uh, saying we fought on multiple fronts. Look at us. And Dar es Salaam is Belgian, damn it. This was Belgian. We took it. Not you. I have a feeling we've got to be Italy. Alrighty. We're holding off magnificently out here. Hmm. I was sure to be per pissed off at least three or four German generals at this point. Probably all of whom were screaming, Where are my armies? Why are they not in France yet? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I'm coughing like crazy today. For reasons I still do not quite understand. Let me take a drink. This might help. Mmm. Quite nice. Now. There we are. Aware of the situation. Let's just see if there's even a chance here. Well, Hejez is already capitulated. Good job. There's nobody in here, so let's just be sneaky little devils and uh, get on in. Because there's a couple of uh, victory points for the taking right now. Uh, something that would be very cheeky would be to picking up this tank prototype, which I think I'll do. Because why not? There we go, pushing like that. Uh, let's go join that assault. See if we can do anything good. Eh, we don't really. Oh, 
but we at least help out the assault in general. These guys are pulling back, which is generally a good idea. That, oh, we can pick up some turf here. Let's not go that way. See, cheeky little things in Hearts of Iron like this tend to work out frequently. Especially if we get the edge on Damascus. That would make me very happy. Uh, we get to there. We now need to actually send men. Uh, let's go push this way. We've united the two British fronts, by the way. Which was half the goal of this assignment. The other half was to uh, take Damascus. Which we should be doing pretty shortly. Doing pretty well for ourselves here. Well, let's see what, how many planes we got lying around. Hey, we no longer have the uh, air supremacy that I like having in the Benelux, so I'm going to pull my men from Western Germany, tell them to get back. And we have 26 fighters lying around, which tells me I need all of them. Actually, move one back. Can I just go 25? One, two, three, four, five. There we go. I just like having more or less even forces of these. I'm going to pull my 25 guys, I'm going to tell them, if, well first I'm going to look to see if we're, yeah we are, yeah, enough to make that go green, and we're going to tell the 25 to go join the flying circuses over France. Take a look over here, we're still holding on to Hengelo, even though it is surrounded on three sides, <clears throat> which is good. Very good, no one's made that a pocket yet, let's go over here. Uh, we, we have some advantages on this front. I'm willing to say go for it. Ah, we're doing well. Smashing into Damascus is just fine. Taurus isn't actually doing all that much, but it's the thought that counts. If we can get into Damascus, that would make me a very happy camper. quick look at the losses, because it's been a couple of months. The Germans have nearly lost two million. The Austro-Hungarians are about to lose a million. The Russians have already lost a million, and about a million point three at the moment. And after that, it's a very large step down with the Entente, like it normally is. Uh, the United Kingdom leads the way with uh, 164, 100,000. Uh, Serbia's 140, 100,000, which is a lot. And we only have 36,000. This is you know, sizable, considering we barely have manpower, but generally respectable. Probably because I've been avoiding going on silly offensives. And I've done most of my fighting in Africa with very few men, and the Middle East with very few men. But, you know, important resources in both of those. Actually, never mind, no resources over here, but very important resources in Africa to be secured. I don't know why there's no resources here. It just confuses me today. Let's try and take Beirut and truly surround them. It'd be nice. Any day now. Oh boy. The Germans have started a Zeppelin campaign into Britain. Which generally means Britain now has a ticking clock until they're eventually going to uh, have so little national unity that they would be more likely to accept a surrender sooner rather than later, which is not good. Well, for us at least. Especially if we want to pick territory off of this. And a couple of new victories, very good. We are stalemating them in Belgium, which is about what we want. So we're going to get down to here. We are now in 1915, which means we can finally get our armament effort 3. Oh, jeez. Which will give us more factories. More factories is more good. More better? More good? More good. There we go. Pull those guys back to Damascus just because we were losing that attack, which means we can hold on to it a little bit better from the counter attack coming from this direction. What we have to remember is these guys are much smaller divisions. Uh, sure, why not? I don't really care what's going on in Mexico. From a game standpoint, it's interesting to look at. Belgium doesn't care. <laughs> Belgium is busy. Fighting battles in the Middle East. With African forces. 
Although this is beginning to concern me enough that I might have to send some men back. Which is not good. Very not good. Speaking of, we are fighting Mehmet Asif Pase. So we are fighting Pase out here. Who is a lot better than we are in terms of general. But his troops are significantly worse. And surrounded. The surrounded part helps. I do like the art for the armored cars in this mod. But they have nothing on the awesome top hats. Which I'm going to regret when we eventually have to leave behind. It won't be quite yet, but I will regret it. Alright, we have a bunch of political power. We probably could afford, oh yeah, anything we want. There's just not enough uh, conflict yet. I can go for some tool conversion here. Mobilization, that is. More economy. Problem is, I, I lose recruitable population over there. I don't want that. More economy means I still don't lose population, but I get 20% uh, instead of 15, sorry, 10% bonus, which is generally a good idea. Because we're going to need all the factory speed we can possibly get our main little hands on because we're just not having enough factories. Now let's join that assault in the route. Coalition offensive. Conrad von Hutzendorf. Good boy. Pulling out the big guns in this front. Oh boy. Oh boy, we're outnumbered. Oh boy, we're losing ships. Oh boy, we lost some ships out of here. We appear to have acquired victory, but at a non sustainable rate of damage. Which is not good. Because we lost some ships and we're not making any more ships. Anytime soon, just because we don't have the resources to invest in it. I'm thinking of saying let's go on an offensive. Aachen is a promising point. The Ottomans have capitulated. Lucky us. Unlucky us, most of it is capitulating to Russians. We need to smash these Germans here. Yeah, smash them good. Which will make me happy. As it adds to German losses. Alright. We can now send our men back to Africa. I don't really want to do that, because that's mostly the British problem. I doubt that we had all the way through Portuguese Africa to hit us. Although if they do, I would be properly salty. We can then send these men to the Balkans. Not really interested. We are in the worst fight. So I'm going to send them back to the Benelux. They Antwerp. Don't walk it. You daft idiots. There we go. You can do this. They want to walk it. He's the craziest rifleman I've ever seen. Don't do that. <sighs> Clearly they don't want to work on the Russian front. Clearly. Alright, fine. Serbia it is. I s we can't go through Bulgaria. Right. Well, that's just ducky. Do I not have enough convoys lying around? Give me a moment. This is properly confusing. Just squeeze. I have plenty of convoys. This is strange. This is very strange. Give me a moment. This is probably confusing. Give them their orders. Tell them to get the line. Go the right way. 
There we go. Time to actually behave. That might help with the fact we were ridiculously outnumbered. I hope the French don't just randomly leave. Please. Please don't leave. Don't don't leave us. We we don't want that. It'll end badly. It'll get to Paris. It'll end really badly. Okay, good. They're sticking with us. I should probably start building trenches. Although no one else has yet. A trench. Mm, yes, there's a trench here, but also a landfill. It's a German bit one too. Just insult the injury right there. <coughs> Pardon. Dee, 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 dee. Now we have plenty of things to fix first. There's a soft of cannibals here. Nothing's helping ruin the France. Yeah, looks like a lot of the Central Power Air Force is either in Poland or France. Which makes sense. All things considered. That's a lot of Russian army. Doing jack all pretty much. Yeah, they're stopping most of the offensives now. Speaking of offensives. 16, right. Okay. I just don't want to be the last one to uh, change uniforms. As much as I love the top hats, they are uh, silly. Pharaoh, can I Sultan? What's next? King? The same community has been uh, declared Sultan of Egypt. The British forces opposed his nephew, uh, Kendiv Abbas Himi II. Uh, New Korea Sultan of Egypt, who is declared a British protectorate. There is no Ottoman sovereignty over Egypt. I mean, duh. I have no idea what they're going to do to uh, Ottoman territories. Let's see what happens. And then bloody well here we go. No, they're in Iberia. Why are we in Iberia? Don't tell me you're marching from Iberia. They want to go on the wine tour of Europe. Okay, I'm not complaining. This isn't me complaining, clearly. What the hell, guys? Alright, fine. Go on the wine tour of Europe. See if we care. If we care. Please. Please come back. Alright. I could use myself a little bit better recon. Won't do me much good. Are they still holding on to islands out here? It's just fine. Oh, yeah. the Japanese are in the area now too. Help, air quotes. Seize German territories and not get them back. Basically, it's a form of help. I suppose. Although, silly enough, uh, German territories in China are becoming British. That might be interesting. I'd love a construction effort. It makes me happy. Hopefully I can get that extra research slot pretty soon. And with all that being said, we're coming up on the 30 minute mark. That's going to mark the end of this episode. Thank you all for watching. Please like and or subscribe as you see fit, depending on how much you love this video. Ah, oh, I will be continuing the series for a while. Probably. At least till the end of the First World War, with which we have barely started. Just the fact that the wars take a very long time. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick glance at the death toll as we end up the episode. As we become, begin to become customary, the Germans have lost 2.5 million men. The Ottomans are already out of the war. Hejez with them. The Austro-Hungarians have lost 1.3 million, oh, 3 million men. 
the Russians have lost nearly 2 million men. Uh, the Brits are at almost 200,000. Serbia is at a little under 200,000 as well, but below Britain. Uh, France is at 1.300,000. Uh, then it's us with 42,000. Uh, the Egyptians and Portuguese are close behind us with 37,000. Montenegro is with 27,000. Canada has lost 26,000. Interestingly enough. Uh, Japan has lost 22,000, so nothing near the Japanese losses more. Uh, 21,000 for the British Ra. Uh, New Zealand hasn't lost a single man, neither has uh, Mongolia, Nepal, Tunisia, South Africa. Oh, sorry, Tunisia has lost men, strangely enough. Uh, South Africa and Australia have not. Bhutan has not, and neither has Oman. That will sum up the death totals for this evening. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.